Don't compare me to the Almighty. Compare me to the Alternative. All that and more now on Graf's Grievances. Hardly a week goes by without a new poll finding that a vast majority of voters think Joe Biden is too old to serve another term as president. Yesterday, two new polls, one from NBC and another from ABC and The Washington Post, finding around 75% of voters are concerned about Biden's age. This seemingly overwhelming agreement among the American people noteworthy because of the hyper-partisan environment in which we currently live. Turn on cable news, look at your social media feed, it appears that Democrats and Republicans do not agree on anything. But here is the thing. Just because poll after poll finds around two-thirds of Americans think Biden is too old to serve another four years in office, there is little evidence that voters care much about Biden's age. This summer, when Pew Research asked potential voters about the top problems facing America, more than 60% of Americans cited inflation, health care costs, partisanship, and drug addiction. That's right, no mention of Biden's age or that inescapable fact that Congress has essentially become a nursing home filled with many living out their last few years of life. Furthermore, when NBC asked registered voters what single issue, if any, would make them vote for or against a candidate, a candidate's age or mental acuity never came up. Instead, voters citing a candidate's position on protecting democracy, abortion, immigration, guns, LGBTQ issues, and climate change. At least we forget that just three years ago, Democratic primary voters chose Biden over eight younger candidates to be their presidential nominee. This, of course, despite the fact that the political pundit class incessantly bemoaned that Biden, then 78 years old, was past his prime and should be put out to pasture. And arguably the person that presented Biden with the biggest challenge to winning the nomination was Bernie Sanders, who is almost two years older than Joe Biden. And of course, after Biden won the Democratic nomination, he went on to defeat Donald Trump, who is three years younger than Joe Biden. Voters do not care about the age of their politicians. Voters care about issues that impact their daily lives and whether the politicians they elect deliver for them. Yet despite this reality, the news media wastes an inordinate amount of time on the left and the right discussing Biden's age and latest flub. We get it. Joe Biden is old. And you know who else is old? His likely challenger for the presidency next year, Donald Trump. At 78 years old, the former president is crushing his competitors to be the Republican presidential nominee next year, despite the fact that he is older than all of them. The media's pointless obsession with Biden and Trump's ages, potentially a reflection of an industry obsessed with youth and perfection. TV correspondents, anchors, guests, constantly seeing themselves in the mirror, applying layers of makeup to look like porcelain dolls, dreading the thought of misreading a script, pronouncing a name wrong, or alienating loyal viewers. Does any of this matter to those watching at home? I have no idea. But Biden's own electoral success has shown us time and time again that voters do not care about his age. And much more importantly, President Biden has shown the world that his advanced age has not stopped him from delivering for the American people. Biden signing into law more bipartisan legislation than any president of either party in a generation. Tackling the biggest issues of our time, from climate change to health care costs, 
to investing in America's crumbling infrastructure. When voters go to the polls next year, they will not be thinking about Biden's age or Trump's age. They will be thinking about what both men have accomplished for them and what their vision is for a second term. Thank you for watching Graphs Grievances. Let me know what you think. Please subscribe, share, and join me tomorrow for more.